Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to take you guys to Illinois' best state park, which is Stop Rock State Park. Today, the special thing is we're not going by ourselves, Kevin and me. We have our special guests, our dogs here. This is Bear and this is Cooper. This state park is around like two hours away. It's dog friendly park. So yeah, we just picked up the breakfast and now we're ready to go. Kobe. Not Kobe. Oh no. <laughs> What did you do? Bata! Okay, so right now we are at the Love gas station. This gas station is on the East 8 Road. It's just really nice. They have small dog park here. They provide the trash bin and a little bit like a picnic area here. And also the poop bags. So the dogs are enjoying this break from the car ride. We are only 6 minutes away from Star Rock. We're gonna go grab Subways and then we're gonna head to Star Rock. <laughs> You having fun? He's sick. Yeah, I hate this one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so we are here at Stop Rock now. Put their boots on. This is so cute. And the other dog is in the backpack right now. Get the thumbnail. Yeah, let's go get ready and let's hike. Let's go! The beautiful park features 18 stunning canyons and waterfalls. There are 13 miles of well-maintained hiking trails in the park, ranging from easy to moderate difficulty. Visitors can choose the trail that best suits their interests and abilities. There are several parking lots available throughout the park, so visitors don't have to walk the entire trail if they don't want to. So far, from so here. good. Cooper hasn't barked off anybody yet. He did. No, he hasn't scared anyone away yet. That's true. Because he's in the backpack, so I feel like he's kind of lost control over his body. But I think this is better for him so he's not as anxious. This way go to French Canyon and this way go to Stop Rock. We're gonna go this way. Uh oh. Can you go up? Up up. Up up. You okay? It's okay. Okay. No boots now. <laughs> he's tired. Two Native American tribes fought in the area in the 1760s. One tribe chased the other to the top of the rock where they starved to death, giving the rock its name, Starved Rock. We were able to complete the Starved Rock Trail quickly because it is relatively short, only 0.3 miles long compared to other trails in the area. Somebody has enough of today. <laughs> He's tired. He's in the truck now. You had enough. Quick snack stop. Gotta have some Subway real quick. We burned off a few calories from five minutes of walking here, so we gotta replenish it now. Uh, it was very stressful though with all the dogs though. I feel like now I know what it's like being a parent. Just a little bit. Like a 5% knowledge of what it's like being a kid. Uh, I mean, parent kid. No kid. Kid parent? No wait. Parent, no. Look who's back. Yeah, he smells he the smells. food. Okay, quick break. Round two, had to put Cooper back in the backpack, but we'll see what happens here. Hopefully we make it farther than 10 minutes this time. Let's go. I think that's a falcon. All right, so earlier we went uh, this side. So now we're gonna go on this side, St. Louis Canyon, which is going that way. Alright, so this is the metal stair that they talk about. Some of the dogs are afraid of the metal stair. So let's see how Bear reacts to this. You okay? Oh, he's afraid of the stair. Bear is afraid of the metal stair. Good boy! Oh, he's so shaking. He did it. So this metal stair, I think it might hurt dog paw, so it's good that Bear is wearing the boots. a lot of stairs here. Pretty steep actually. 
I haven't had done cardio since I had a beard. So I think this is the lodge. It looks quite nice if you're gonna stay over here. The trail to San Luis Canyon is a hiking trail that stretches for 1.5 miles in length one way. All right, we are actually officially in the woods right now. All right, canyon. yellow dot right here it means you're walking further away from the parking lot the white dot it means like you're walking towards the parking lot so that you don't get lost in the woods I feel like the amount of people that come here is not that bad some part is just so quiet oh you can see the street down there too next to it Paul and Paul and Paul and Paul View of the trail so far. I like it a lot. So pretty. Not hard to walk on too. It gets muddy and wet some part, but it's not that bad. The Illinois is actually a very, very yes. flat land. I highly recommend to come here with your dogs. Lots of stairs though. If you have any difficulty with stairs, might want to avoid it. And it's some of it gets pretty steep. Hiking shoes definitely do help. I think you would get pretty muddy with just regular gym shoes on. Hey, where's your boots? Lost a boot all the way down there. Thousand years ago, during the last ice age, massive glaciers covering much of North America eroded the sandstone bedrock in the area of St. Louis Canyon as they advanced and retreated, leading to the formation of deep canyons and ravines. That's the end of the hiking today. I mean, we plan to go to the east side, but because it took longer than two hours since we have two dogs here. So basically another hour going back and the sun is gonna set soon. So that's why we have to head back. They open 6.30 or 7 until sunset time and we can't hike after sunset. And you could get fine if you hike here. There are so many vlogs coming, so please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!